Hello and welcome everyone. We're not going to beat around the bush today, as that would put us in a real pickle. Today we are making pickled beets, or beet pickles if you prefer. These beet pickles are pretty simple and are a great way to preserve beety goodness so that you can enjoy it all year long. For today's recipe, you will need 2.4 kilograms or roughly five and a half pounds of whole raw beets. Six to seven canning jars, 500 milliliter or one pint jars work best. Three cups of pickling vinegar, three cups of white sugar, two cups of beet juice, two tablespoons of pickling spice, one and a half tablespoons of salt. It's important to note that this recipe uses pickling vinegar, not plain white vinegar. The difference is pickling vinegar has 7% acetic acid and regular vinegar only has 5%. If you want to save yourself some effort later on, you can put the pickling spice into a spice ball bag or cheesecloth bundle. This will save you the trouble of having to strain the brine later on. First, we need to prepare our beets. Scrub the outside of the beets well in the sink, then transfer them to a large stock pot. Fill the pot with enough hot water that the beets are fully covered, then set them on the stove. Bring the pot to a boil. Once boiling, I like to add an optional one tablespoon of pickling spice to it. Next, reduce the heat to a simmer until the beets are fully cooked. While the beets are cooking, prepare your canning jars according to the manufacturer's instructions. For my jars, this means fully submerging the empty jars in my canner and bringing them to a boil until we are ready to use them. The lids go into a small saucepan and get brought to 180 degrees Fahrenheit until we need them later. When a fork can be inserted into the beets without much resistance, they are ready. Remove them from the pot and scoop out the two cups of beet juice for the brine. Combine the sugar, vinegar, beet juice, pickling spice, and salt in a large saucepan. Stir well, then put on medium to medium high heat and allow the brine to come to a boil. Once boiling, reduce it to a simmer and cover the pot. Now to prepare the beets. Cut off the top stem area and the bottom tip. Then you can easily peel the cooked beets by scraping them with a paring knife. Once all of the beets are peeled, cut them into slices. If the beets are large, make sure to cut them in half first. When the beets have been sufficiently sliced, we can begin filling our jars. Take one prepared jar and begin filling it with beet slices until there's about one inch of air gap at the top of the jar. Repeat with the remaining jars until you either run out of beets or run out of jars. When all of your jars are full, move them closer to your brine pot. Since I didn't use a spice bag, I'm going to have to strain my brine as I pour it through my canning funnel. A canning funnel comes in extremely handy as it helps to prevent spilling sticky staining brine everywhere. Now, using a ladle or by carefully pouring, add in the brine until the liquid level reaches the bottom ridge of the neck of your jar or until it touches the bottom of your canning funnel. This will leave roughly one inch of air space as required. I also recommend after adding in the brine to make sure there are no air bubbles stuck in your jar. You can do this by gently prodding and stirring the beets in the jar with a clean narrow spatula or a wooden skewer. If this displaces a lot of air and your brine is no longer at the appropriate levels, just add more as needed. Before adding the lids, it's very important to make sure the rim of your jar is clear of any droplets of brine. I do this by wiping it with a clean piece of paper towel. This will make sure that your jar lids seat properly and securely. I am using snap lids, so the next step is to carefully seat a lid on the jar and then tighten down the jar ring finger tight. You don't want to over tighten the ring, but it should be fairly snug. Do this for all of your jars and then we can start the canning process. Carefully add your jars back to the canner, then we are going to process the beets. Bring the water to a rolling boil with the jars submerged. The processing time will vary based on altitude. From sea level to 1,000 feet, you will want to boil the beets for 30 minutes. From 1,000 to 3,000 feet, 35 minutes. And from 3,000 to 4,000 feet, 40 minutes. Once the processing time has elapsed, let the canner sit for a few minutes with the lid off. Then remove the jars to an area where they can remain undisturbed for 24 hours. If you're using snap lids like I am, as they cool you will be greeted by the occasional startling pop of a jar ceiling. Check the jars after 24 hours to make sure that they are properly sealed. If any jars haven't been sealed, they should be moved to the refrigerator and eaten. 
Any jars that have properly sealed can have the rings unscrewed and be wiped dry if needed. I personally like to keep my jar rings stored very loosely on the jars, otherwise I end up losing them. Don't forget to label your jars with the date and store them in a cool dark place. Here we have the finished beet pickles. They're tender, tangy, and full of pickling spice flavor. These beets can be eaten alone, as a side dish with a meal, on salads, or you can transform them into something lovely like Harvard beets. Remembering, of course, that they are a fair bit more tart than regular beets. I hope this recipe showed you how to preserve your beets for enjoyment all year round. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.